Audience analysis may be one of the most overlooked aspects to speech preparation. Many times we get hung up on thinking about what will work for us and we forget that we're giving the speech to people, not for ourselves. But the best speakers know their audience. Whether you're standing in front of a classroom of your peers, presenting to a few coworkers, or talking in front of a packed auditorium, you should have your audience in mind. The textbook provides a ton of information on different types of audiences, but for the purpose of this lecture, I want to focus on your classmates. So why are they here? Well, honestly, because we have to be. Reading through the textbook, I would identify your classmates as a passive audience. They are not really motivated, but are listening to accomplish their goals. So what are their goals? To complete an assignment, maybe to learn what to or what to not do during their speeches, and to meet state requirements. And that is okay. Working with a passive audience gives you the best kind of practice because you have to try harder. To try harder, you want to understand who your audience is. One way to do that is through a demographic analysis. Look through the icebreaker discussions. Many people were open and honest about who they are, what they do, and where they are from. And that's great information to have. I encourage you to speak passionately about a topic and you have a group of people telling you what they know, don't know, and are interested in. It's also good information to have to avoid offending someone. Fortunately, in a group like this, that sort of thing does not happen often, but it could. Imagine if you stand up in front of a group of people living in central Illinois and you started talking about how lame small towns are. You probably would do it in a more politically correct way than even I just did, but it might hurt some feelings. Even criticizing the size of a community isn't the worst insult you can throw, but it is rude and it will turn people off and impact your credibility. The book walks you through direct and indirect methods to even better understand who your audience is. Fortunately, in a class like this, you can do these things. You could put together a survey or ask open-ended questions to your peers. Earlier, I mentioned your credibility. Audience analysis is about connecting with them, understanding them, and opening up their minds to listen to you. This will become increasingly important as you go through the different speeches in this course. A lot of what is required in these speeches isn't just there because I want you to check boxes. It's there because I want you to learn how to build better speeches, be better speakers, and build in credibility. Consider how you can build up your credibility through research, through examples, and through improving your delivery so that you actually leave a lasting impression on your audience. I know that many of you care deeply for the topics that you are going to be covering because I email and talk with you. Now it's your job to get that through to the rest of the class. As always, if you want to discuss this topic more, have questions, or want to reach out to your classmates to learn more about them, I am happy to answer questions and facilitate learning. Thanks for listening.